Now we are going to look at what is known as a bijective function. Okay. So bijective function is very simple. A function which is both surjective and injective is known as a bijective function. Okay. So I'm just going to write a function which is both surjective and injective. Okay. So that's your bijective function. So it is both one to one and it is also on to then that function is a bijective function. So if you have to look at it graphically, what you can do is you can draw something like this. Let us suppose this is your A. Okay. And this is your B. Okay. I have a couple of elements over here. I have a couple of elements over here. Okay. And my function is something like this. This goes to here and this one goes to here. As you can see over here, your range of my function, let us call this as B, this as A and this is my function. My range of function is all elements are covered. Therefore, my range is equal to codomain. Therefore, this is an onto function and this is also one to one function. Okay, because each element in A is only related to each element in B. Therefore, this is a surjective as well as a injective function. Hence, I call this a bijection okay bijection or a bijective function okay so it's going to look something like this and in your bijective function your cardinality of a is going to be equal to the cardinality of b and function is not on to this is not going to hold Okay, because in that case, you can have something like this where you have an extra element in B which is not covered. Okay, in that case, this is going to be your one to one function, but this is not going to be on to because there is an extra element over here. So your range is basically a proper subset of your codomain. Okay, then this won't hold, but in a bijection, this is going to hold always. Now let's look at some properties of compositions that we have. First is if F and G are surjective, then your GOF is going to be surjective. Okay. What is surjective? You already know surjective is on to that is your range of the function is equal to the codomain of your function. Okay. So over here, it is going to be obvious that if range of your function G is equal to the codomain of G, then GOF is also going to be surjective because your G is from B to C and your GOF is from A to C. They have C as common. So if over here my range is equal to C, then over here also range is going to be equal to C. Okay. Now let's look at the next property which tells me that if F and G are injective, then my GOF is going to be injective as well or GOF is going to be one to one as well. It is very intuitive. There is nothing over here that I need to prove. Okay. Now let's look at the next theorem which says that if GOF is surjective, then only G is surjective. F may or may not be surjective. Why do we have G as surjective? Because G and GOF share the common domain. Okay. If GOF has the domain which is equal to range then obviously 